doctors welcome to my channel itj olympiads and ap physics with ambarish and uh, today i have brought another interesting problem from ha harvard challenge of the week problem 15 and it's a very challenging problem and i hope you'll uh, uh, really love this one so without much ado let's get into our problem for the day okay here we go okay let's see so what's the problem the problem is regarding maximizing the gravitation field What's the problem? Given a point P in space and given a piece of malleable material of constant density, how should you shape and place the material in order to create the largest possible gravitational field at point P? Uh, for example, suppose you have, let's say, maybe uh, a dough ball or something. So you can shape that dough in any uh, shape, whatever you want, but the density has to remain constant. So if we, if we want to shape the our dough ball in such a way that we maximize the gravitational field, at some point p and we need to find out that shape okay so i hope the question is clear so how should you shape the uh, and place the material in order to create the largest possible gravitational field at point p work out the equation describing the required surface either in polar or cartesian coordinates given total volume of the material is v so if you want you can give it a try and i'll get into my analysis uh, straight away okay let's see okay so i'm going to build up an argument uh, and uh, please follow the argument very carefully okay so uh, I do not know the shape a priori but uh, I've drawn some shape uh, I'm not claiming that this is the correct shape but uh, some shape will be there I could have even drawn an irregular shape it doesn't matter for the sake of argument uh, right now I've shown some shape and this uh, right now I'm not claiming that it's a regular shape or irregular shape it's it's some kind of shape okay uh, we'll come out uh, at the exact equation later on. Okay, so let's assume that maximum field occurs at some point O. Uh, the problem it was P, so I have just uh, for convenience I've just named it O in some direction which we choose as x axis with origin chosen at O. Okay, so let's say because of this geometry, some field is there and that field has direction, and whatever is the direction that I have chosen as the x axis. Okay, further let us consider a mass dm. Uh, near the surface of the desired solid at a distance r and angle theta with the line of maximum field. So the field is maximum in this direction. I am choosing some uh, small uh, uh, mass element near the surface at uh, r and theta. Okay. What will be the field contribution because of this dm at point O? So this field contribution because of this dm at point O will be how much? See. Uh, okay. So x rather I am finding the x component of this field. So what's the x component of field? So because of this the field over here is g dm by r square right and since I want the x component so g dm by r square cos theta. So this is the x component of the field due to this element okay. So pretty straightforward nothing uh, great here. So x component of field is uh, g dm by r square cos theta. Now similarly suppose I have some other element again the mass is equal to the same dm but location is let us say at theta dash and r dash. What will be the field due to this dm at the same point O horizontal component of field? g dash will be by same logic g dash x will be equal to g dm by r dash square into cos theta dash right. Now uh, listen very carefully now something uh, logical is uh, coming. So now what's, what are the possibilities if suppose g prime x is greater than g x. My claim is that at point O the field is maximum. Now if the g prime of x, I mean the field due to this dm, the x component of field due to this uh, uh, element were greater than the x component of field due to this element. That means what I could as well uh, remove this dm from there and put that dm over here and that will lead to an increase in field, right? Or for that, that matter, suppose if uh, gx were greater than g dash x, what would that mean? That uh, I could replace this dm and I could move this dm from there to here and that would cause an increase in the field over here. So that means what we are not at the optimal shape, right? So I this 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 is just pure beauty. Okay, so, uh, uh, sim so that's what I've written. Uh, if gx is greater than g dash x, the field can be increased by moving dm dash to the position of dm. Similarly, if g dash x is greater than gx, then field can be further increased by moving dm to the position of dm dash. But since the surface is already optimal, it is impossible to increase it any further. So that means what g dash x cannot be greater than gx and gx can, cannot be greater than g dash x. So the only possibility is gx should be equal to g dash x constant for all elements near the surface. So 
uh, we are going to use this important result to further derive the equation okay so this constant will depend on the size of the body now we are ready to do some maths okay so i hope this is clear so that means what every element on the surface every dm near the surface has the same contribution at point where we want to maximize the field so this result will lead us to the solution of the uh, equation of the surface okay so from whatever I concluded, x component of the force, or rather field if you want, gx you can, I, instead of fx I should have written gx. So g of x is equal to g dm uh, by r square cos theta is equal to constant. So I can say now dm is, I chose dm, same dm at both locations. So I everything else is a constant. So I can simply say that r square must be proportional to cos theta or on all the points on the optimal surface. and uh, Let's say this constant proportionality constant be a square just so that uh, both have same dimension and later on we'll see uh, this leads to a little more convenient expression. So instead of a I've chosen a square doesn't matter. So constant uh, is a square cos theta. Okay. So where a, a square is a convenient uh, constant satisfying the volume constraint on the problem. Total volume is constant, right? So now from equation four, we can conclude what? See, now, uh, so far we have this equation, r square is a square cos theta. So it doesn't matter, see, uh, this is the line of maximum field and you, whether you choose theta here, you choose theta here or you can choose theta over the entire cone anywhere like that. So all these uh, places, r is going to be same for same theta, right? So that means what? There's going to be a cylindrical symmetry or conical symmetry, whatever you want to say. About the line of maximum field, there is going to be a cylindrical symmetry in the body. So now we are ready to claim that, okay? So it has to be a symmetric body about the line of maximum field. That we can see from equation number 4, okay? So cylindrically symmetry about x-axis since the value of r only depends on theta irrespective of its position around x-axis, okay? And another thing we can see is that r is defined for all values of theta from 0 to pi by 2 or rather minus pi by 2 pi by 2 we should say so r is always defined from minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 right minus pi by 2 theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to theta is equal to plus pi by 2 okay and uh, or uh, i mean if you want to consider the circular symmetry you might as well say 0 to pi by 2 and uh, where pi by 2 includes uh, the entire circle and maybe 30 degree includes the entire circle okay so the point of maximum field must lie on the surface itself so you can also see that when theta is pi by 2 then r is 0 so that means what that point itself must lie on the surface because uh, okay so because r square is uh, a square cos theta and theta equal to pi by 2 gives r equal to 0 so uh, it okay so i hope you got the why that point must lie on the surface because a point on surface has zero distance from our origin okay so maximum the so the point of maximum field must lie on the surface itself now we shall evaluate the constant a using the volume constraint okay so now uh, let's say this is our required geometry so i have considered an element at distance x of thickness dx and let's say its vertical height is y so what is the small amount of volume of this element dv is pi y square dx now x is what r cos theta and y is r sin theta now simple substitutions and we'll integrate and so i can say that y square is r square minus x square i will be using y square over here but then r itself needs to be expressed in terms of x so what i can do you know that r square was a square cos theta from equation 4 so uh, and cos theta is what cos theta is x upon r so i can say r square is a square into x upon r which gives you r cube is equal to a square x or you can say now this r square can be expressed in terms of x now so r square is a to the power 4 by 3 okay from here uh, you just raise both sides to the power 2 by 3 so it becomes a to the power 4 by 3 into x to the power 2 by 3 so r square is ready in terms of x and x square is obviously in terms of x and uh, y square dx now is completely in terms of x so now we are ready to do the integration right so we and of course at theta equal to 0 x is equal to a right from this equation you can see uh, theta equal to 0 x is equal to a itself r is equal to a or you can say x is equal to a over here at this this point okay so now we can integrate so uh, total volume becomes what so just substitute for y square and y square dx if you put uh, you use this value r square minus x square so a to the power 4 by 3 x to the power 2 by 3 minus x square dx and 0 to a so here x is 0 and here x is a so you integrate that you get uh, 4a cube there should have been a pi over here 4a cube pi by 15 okay so uh, 
our volume is 4 pi a cube by 15 or just now find out the value of a square rearranging this so this is what we get for a square and from equation 11 we can just put this uh, a square in equation 4 this was our equation 4 and we found a square and that gives us the correct uh, complete polar equation now so what do we get so r square is now a square you substitute and cos theta is there so this is our required polar equation or you take the under root on both sides and this is what you get okay and now just to give you idea of exact shape in fact uh, the shape that i have been using all the way throughout the problem this shape itself is the correct shape i plotted it in mathematica for i took this constant as one and r is equal to root cos theta i plotted and that comes out to be this shape so this is the shape of our required uh, solid and obviously this is the point where we want to max uh, we wanted to maximize the field so so that's my analysis uh, for today's problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends who are preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video your subscriptions are what keep me motivated to do a new video every day okay so i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot once again for watching this video and as always god bless you all thank you